Arriving at an East African port, the Empress of Abyssinia reaches the last stage of her journey back to her people, from whom she has been separated for several years. She is accompanied by her daughter, who has been with her during the long period of exile. The Empress took the opportunity of issuing a message in which she paid tribute to the men of the Royal Navy and Mercantile Marine. Under their protection, through all the hazards of a long sea voyage, her return home was made possible. At Nairobi, the Crown Prince, flown by the Royal Air Force from Addis Ababa, greets his mother. For six years, the Empress has lived in security under the protection of that great confederation of free peoples, the British Empire, whose armies have played so great a part in the restoration of freedom to her own country. She goes now to take her place at the side of the Emperor Haile Selassie, and with the help of Britain, a new Ethiopia will arise out of the blood and suffering of the past six years.